you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. You are here today to witness the joining in marriage of Neil Pollard and Samantha Clare Birchall. So, so Gavin and I thought when we were doing the speech we wanted to be a good, good a double act as Ant and Dec. But the feedback from our wives, we're more like Dumb and Dumber. So, <laughs> thanks, ladies. Um, firstly, in our official capacity as best men, we'd like to say a very big thank you to Neil and Sam on behalf of ourselves, the bridesmaids, and the maid of honour, Ruth, um, for your kind words and, and the gifts. Um, and also to say what an honour it is to be here and share your special day with you. I think it's fair to say that for, for people that have known Neil for a long time, this day's actually been a long time coming. <laughs> we thought it might never happen, so well done Sam for taking him on. Many people have failed. <laughs> Marriage requires devotion. The ability to listen the wisdom to know when we are wrong and the humility to be able to put things right. Above all, it requires unquestioning love. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our new bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Pollard. <laughs> Neil's had a wider range array of hobbies to keep himself busy. In fact, he's had more clubs than Tiger Woods. He started with rugby at Midsum Norton. Pretty boy on the wing, I think his teammates called him. Then he went into golf, and while he always dressed the part, the less said about his game, the better. Photography, photography lessons were next, although that was short-lived. In fact, it was all a blur. He's, he's even attempted to learn Spanish, and I believe He's even attempted at least one speed awareness course, if not two. <laughs> now, his more recent activities have been to invest in a kayak and a paddleboard. And I think we've got a couple of pictures of Neil and Sam trying them out down on the waterfront in Bristol. <laughs> Firstly, I'm Sam. That was me 20 years ago. <laughs>
Neil's hit the jackpot now. He's hit the jackpot, but he's not always been as lucky in love. Okay? He's hit the jackpot now. Now, back then, in the early days, hitting those bars, those nightclubs that I mentioned, pre-Tinder, of course. You know, a, young, a young lad, a young lad really had to work at it, and Neil was, was, was up for the fight. He was up for the challenge. His pulling techniques, though, were slightly hit and miss in these nightclubs. Now, Neil on the pool reminded me, when I was looking back, like a, a, an Attenborough documentary, okay? BBC, like a lion on the savannah, okay? Scanning for opportunities across the dance floor, approaching with stealth, trying to keep some rhythm, usually approaching from behind. Some things have never changed, Sam, is that right? My daughter you're talking about. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I thought I was getting the right tone, but let me know. Good luck now. Start the car. Um, one hand on one hip, the other hand on the other, and the polar clinch was in place. Now, sometimes he was successful, sometimes successful, sometimes not. He was always up for the fight, always up for the challenge, to be fair to him. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please be upstanding for the arrival of the bridal party? I, Neil Pollard. Take you, Samantha Clare Birchall. Take you, Samantha Clare Birchall. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to love. I promise to love. Respect and cherish. You, respect and cherish you. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives together. Now, Sam, it's your turn. I, Samantha Clare Birchall. I, Samantha Clare Birchall. Take you, Neil Pollard. Take you, Neil Pollard. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I promise to love. I promise to love. Respect and cherish you. Respect and cherish you. For the rest of our lives together. For the rest of our lives together. <laughs> And to my father-in-law for giving me permission to take on the role. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Of loving and protecting his daughter and granddaughter. I know. I know how important Sam and Emma are to you, and Julie. And I promise to always make them my priority and always be there for them. I really didn't think I was going to do that at that stage. <laughs> Bugger. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. From this day forward. From this day forward. 
I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. I will always love. I will always love. Cherish and respect you. Cherish and respect you. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. Whatever life may bring us. Whatever life may bring us. This is my promise to you. This is my promise to you. And this is the moment, Neil, when you find out if that ring is a good fit. It's hot today. It's, we're there. It's a perfect fit. We've one last appropriate gift for you, Neil. This was supposed to be your outfit on the stag do, but it didn't arrive in time. So you can have it now. Um, however, I'm sure we'll all look forward to seeing it on one of your many Facebook updates when you go out cycling. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, buddy. <laughs> you have to put it on now. <laughs> Should do. Should do. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. I will always love. I will always love. Cherish and respect you. Cherish and respect you. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. Whatever life may bring us. Whatever. This is my promise to you. This is my promise to you. To push that ring all the way on, sir. You're welcome. Two good fits. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very much. So 46 years, me and Julie, I'm going to give you a bit of advice, you two. Marriage is a bit like the weather report. And sometimes it can be a bit foggy. You don't know which way you're going to go in life. Sometimes it can be a bit stormy and the dark clouds come over and it's very stormy and thundery between you. Sometimes it can get very, very cold between you because it can. We've all slept in separate bedrooms, haven't we? Let's be fair. Yeah? Hey? We've all been sent downstairs. Yeah? No? No? But what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is with a lot of love and understanding, the dark clouds will disappear and sunshine will come through. And I hope you'll be very happy together. It is therefore my great pleasure and privilege to declare that you are now husband and wife. And Neil, you may kiss your bride. I couldn't do a speech without mentioning what an amazing mum you are. From having to move out from the family home when Emma was one, until you moved in with me when she turned three, you managed a house, a limited budget, a job, and a child on your own, and even found time for me for a relationship. I would like to congratulate you on a fantastic job as Emma has turned out a, a really happy girl and she's excelled at her first year at school and she's got some lovely new friends who are already helping into it, lots of trouble. <laughs> You've also overcome a very difficult time at your previous school and left a teaching job you once loved and found a renewed passion and happiness in a new school as a sports coach. I know from the teachers and the children their comments that you've done a fantastic job and they all love you and you're achieving some great results with the football team. So you've done a really good job there to get overcome all of these things. So I think we should all raise a glass to toast my bride to all her success to Sam Pollard. <laughs> I'm going 
going to ask you now to be upstanding for one last time and to give a very rousing and traditional welcome to the very new Mr and Mrs Pollard. In all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, I know we've given Neil a bit of a stick today, but we all know that Neil is a true gent. He's honourable, dependable, intelligent, charming, and as a bonus, he's solvent. <laughs> I, I, I can assure Sam's parents, if they don't know already, that Sam's found a good one here. I would also like to take this opportunity to welcome Sam and Emma to the Pollard family, but I would say, I hope you know what you've got yourself into. <laughs> Um, they've been a really, really top friend. You deserve every happiness that you get, and I can't um, you know, wait to uh, you know, see you and Sam grow together as a family um, over the coming years. And that leaves me with one more um, task, ladies and gentlemen, before you get the opportunity to hit the bar, as I no doubt will. Please raise your glasses in a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Pollard, the bride and groom. Bride and groom.